Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 12. This is your last full lesson of the semester, so we're really starting to uh, come to the close of this course. I hope that you are uh, surviving and doing well with everything that you've got going on. I'm sure you're absolutely swamped with work, but again, I hope that everything is going well and that you're hanging in there. Again, we are almost done, so this is the last week where you have most of the normal assignments that you're used to. Um, for the most part, this, this week is quite similar to what you've done in the past, but there are a couple new elements that I want to go over with you. So this week, your focus is working on the drama production that you started viewing last week. So if you haven't viewed it by now, make sure that you finish that up. Make sure you take notes and um, jot down some ideas as you watch it. Uh, and this week, you're really going to be focusing on the... Uh, not the written elements of the production, but the visual elements as well. So you're going to change your focus just a little bit in that way. Um, let's see here. You're going to be working with plot, character, things like that, things that you have worked with before, so that really shouldn't be unfamiliar to you. Uh, so, of course, you still have this week to participate in my office hour if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, again, finish up the viewing of whatever production you choose. Uh, also of importance this week, you're going to submit T-analysis number three. You're not building an essay from this uh, T-analysis as you've done in the past, but it is still the same, the same procedure. So make sure you get that submitted to, uh, this week. Um, also, with this T-analysis, you're going to have 20 passages that you're working with as opposed to 10. So that is how it's different this time. You're going to have a discussion board this week where you generate questions and, of course, uh, post responses and answer to those questions regarding the production that you worked with or excuse me that you viewed um, let's see here do, 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 do. and then you've got the self-assessment and the lesson evaluation surveys uh, which are normal for every week so the things that are different this week um, are in preparation for your final exam next week the first portion of that exam is actually going to be over vocabulary uh, so you're going to, um, let's take a look at that. You've got the list of vocabulary that you've been building on all quarter long, all semester long, excuse me. Uh, so here it is. Um, in one spot, you're going to want to make sure that you um, define and have a very strong understanding of all of these terms. So my suggestion would be to print this out or to copy and paste it, um, either write in or type in the definitions and then study it from there. So you want to make sure that this vocabulary becomes part of, um, you know, of your mentality when approaching reading. So we want this to become um, just a part of your general knowledge that you can um, pull up at any time whenever you want to discuss something uh, related to literature. Um, so really there's not too much um, that you need to know here. Just make sure you know the definitions of the terms. And in my uh, notes from Sister Rasmussen page this week, I have a link that will take you to the uh, Oxford Dictionary of Literary Terms through the McKay Library. So I hope you will um, use that. Use the materials in the course. Use that uh, dictionary. Just cut and paste that link, and I've got the directions on how to get there. Uh, it is a little process, but I hope it's worth it in the end for you. <clears throat> so you can have, sometimes, uh, the reason that I posted this is sometimes um, you can see one definition of a literary term and just not quite get it. So I wanted you to have an outside um, source to supplement the definitions that you're finding because sometimes if you see a, a definition, the, the information still can be relatively similar, but perhaps it can be worded in a more uh, understandable way for you. So I thought adding that resource would, would be helpful. But if you don't want to use it, that's perfectly fine. But again, you can find that in my notes from Sister Rasmussen page. All right, so that's enough on the vocab. The uh, latter portion of your final exam that you're going to take next week, this is all for next week. So right now you're just preparing your vocab for next week, and then you're preparing these essay questions for next week. Uh, I just want to go over this so that there's no confusion as to what you're um, expected to do. So at the end of your final exam next week, once you get done working with the vocab, you're going to have three essay questions that you have to answer. Those three questions are going to be focused on the drama production that you uh, worked with last week and this week. Uh, so again, it, it should be pretty familiar territory for you. You're also going to be working with three different theories. 
So the seven theories that we have worked with are listed here along with um, several questions. You're going to pick one question and then answer that in a essay question format. So it's not that you're writing an entire essay, it's just going to be a paragraph, but within that paragraph, I need to see an introductory sentence or two. I need to see the body of your um, of your answer where you give explanation and support, things like that, and then you need a concluding sentence. So think of it as um, an essay condensed down into one paragraph. I want an introduction, I want a body, I want a conclusion, I want transitions, I want all of that in place. So I will be um, assessing not only your answers and how clear you are and how strong your interpretation is and how well you develop and support that, but I'm also going to be looking at the quality of your writing. So again, I want this to have a beginning, a middle, and an end just like an essay would. So don't um, don't forget about academic writing standards, proper punctuation, grammar, things like that. This is not, this is a very formal um, essay question, I guess. So that's how you're going to formulate your answers in a very, very um, well-written, well-organized, you know, so on. Let's see here. So uh, they need to be 200 to 250 words for each of your answers. And again, you're going to have three. You're going to choose three theories to work with. Choose one question from each theory. So that gives you three questions. Write up an essay um, answer and that's what you're going to submit next week. And again, this is all focused on the, the drama production that you used um, or that you chose to watch. Let me see if there's anything else I need to mention. And again, you're preparing for this now. You can start writing them now and simply cut and paste next week. Or you can work on one or two this week and another one next week. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter, but you do need to pick your questions um, from the three theories that you choose. So again, you'll have three questions total. Uh, and then you need to go back to your production and answer those. Again, with good support, everything like that. I'm not going to beat this to death because I feel like I'm kind of doing that. So let's go take a look at your final exam so you know what you're, what you're preparing for. Okay, so here's the vocab part. And then here are the three essay questions. So you're going to put your answer in these text boxes, um, and each one is a theory. So theory A, theory B, theory C, and again, really well-written responses. So hopefully that, that clears up any confusion. If you have any questions, just let me know during my office hour. So um, again, for the most part, this week is quite normal, but you're preparing for that final exam, um, which is really important. Start writing your your answers up in good essay form. Um, again, you're not writing an essay. I feel like I'm telling you to write three essays. That's not it, just a paragraph, but you're going to write it as if it were an essay. Um, and then you're going to prepare for your vocab. So hopefully this is all making sense. Hopefully again that you're, you're doing well. And uh, just let me know if you have any questions or how I can help.